Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kingdom Kids lesson. So glad you joined us today. My name is Farron and I have a great story for you. We don't want to grow up. a brand new remember verse. We will be learning and memorizing this scripture for the upcoming weeks. Remembering scriptures is important because it helps and reminds us to make good choices. Are you ready for the new remember verse? Here it is. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our Lord. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Psalm chapter 147, verses four through five. During the week, take some time to memorize this scripture. Think about the verse and consider what it means to you. Next week, we are going to challenge our memory and see how much we've memorized. This week's lesson teaches us how God used a woman named Deborah to show God's strong power. This story is found in the Old Testament. Wait, what's the Old Testament? That's a good question. The Old Testament is full of stories before Jesus was born. The New Testament is full of stories of Jesus' life and after he was raised from the dead. The Bible is broken up into these two testaments because life before Jesus required a certain way of life and life after Jesus required a new way to live. Okay, back to the story. So today's story is in the book of Judges in the Old Testament. And you can read it in chapter 4, verse 1 through 16. The Israelites were doing evil things, so the Lord gave them over to be ruled by Jabin, king of Canaan. Jabin's army was evil and had an army with 900 iron chariots. He had treated the Israelites badly for 20 years, so they cried to the Lord for help. The Lord appointed Deborah, the prophet, as leader and judge of Israel. The people came to her court under the palm of Deborah to have their arguments decided. One day, she sent for Barak. She told him, the Lord commands you, go take 10,000 men with you and lead them into battle against Sisera. The Lord will give him into your hands. Barak said to her, only if you go with me. If you don't go, I won't go. I will go with you, Deborah assured him, but because you insist I go with you, the honor of victory will not go to you. It will go to a woman instead. When Jabin heard that Barak's army was assembled, he gathered his 900 iron chariots for the battle. Deborah said to Barak, go. Today the Lord has gone ahead of you and given Jabin into your hands. So Barak went with 10,000 men against Sisera and his 900 iron chariots. The Lord gave complete victory to the Israelites, just as Deborah said, on that day, Deborah and Barak sang a song of praise to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, the God of Israel. I will praise the Lord. Whoa, this is an action-packed story full of God's absolute power. Israel was doing evil things, so God gave them over to an even more evil king and kingdom to teach them something. Then God uses Deborah and Barak to lead an army against that nation. God doesn't leave Israel alone in the new kingdom to figure it out. He gives them a wise leader named Deborah to help the nation of Israel. What do you think this says about God? I think this shows that even when we don't see it or feel it, God is always working. We may not understand how God will help when things go bad, but he is always working behind the scenes. Where do you see God taking action in this passage? Where might he be active even if it isn't obvious? Read the story and see if you could see places where you see God being active and helping Israel. All right, guys, I wanna see how much of the story you were able to remember. I am going to ask you guys some questions. Try and answer them before I place the answer on the screen. Are you ready? Who was Deborah? What was her job? 
Good, she was a leader and judge for Israel. What's the name of the king who was ruling over Israel? Bonus points if you can name the region he ruled. Jabin, king of Canaan, good job. How many chariots did Jabin's army have? 900, good job. After Deborah and Barak defeated Jabin's army, what did they do? They sang a song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, the God of Israel. I will praise the Lord. Hey everyone, are you ready to shake it up a little? We're gonna sing a song that's all about being like Jesus. So get ready to go deep, deep, and down, down, and jump for joy. Let's do this. Hey. Deep down in my heart, I want to be like Jesus. Deep down in my heart, singing deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. Hey, deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. I love the Lord Messiah. Deep down in my heart, I love the Lord Messiah. Deep down in my heart, singing deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. Hey, deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. Like Jesus, deep down in my heart, I want to be like Jesus, deep down in my heart. Singing deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. Hey, deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. We're singing deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. Hey, deep, deep, singing down, down, singing deep down in my heart. I hope you guys like today's story. And remember, even when you don't see God working, even when you don't understand what is happening. Remember that God is powerful and in control. This week, as a family, listen to the song Waymaker on the Broward Church YouTube page. Discuss some ways you have seen God answer prayers in your life and in other people's lives. See you next week.